One of San Francisco's largest residential landlords is facing accusations that it has been mishandling millions of dollars of tenants' money. Now there's an effort to get that money back. KTV's Jade Hernandez joins us now with this story. Jade? Well, good afternoon. Some tenants are so mad at city apartments, they're taking the large landlord to court. Situated along busy Market Street sits City Apartments' main office in the Castro. Recently, the company has been pelted with several lawsuits. The most recent, several former tenants claiming their rental security deposits were withheld and not returned within a state required 21 days. One of the two clients in this case, Joy Anderson, told us tenants shouldn't have to fight their landlord. I looked at the other Yelp reviews and found that this had happened to a lot of people. And um, I just really felt that all of us should get together and do something to change this so it wouldn't happen to other people. A lot rides on this case. Millions of tenants dollars. The average security deposit is between $2,000 and $2,500, which could equal more than $10 million worth of deposit money from tenants all over the city. We don't know exactly how many people have been affected by this. We believe that it's in the hundreds. Uh, ever since we filed this lawsuit, our phone has been ringing off the hook. Think City Apartments or any one of its entities has cheated you out of a security deposit? Well, there is a way to find out. All you have to do is log on to apartmentlawsuit.com to see if you deserve compensation. The website set up by the attorney in this class action suit details the 40-page complaint. On one end of the spectrum, just completely ignoring their tenants, where uh, their tenants will call them repeatedly, will send them emails, will leave voicemails for them, and they hear nothing back for weeks and weeks and weeks and even months. Uh, all the way to the other end of the spectrum, which is, uh, for example, Joy Anderson, one of the named plaintiffs in the lawsuit, uh, went in to get her security deposit with her eight-year-old son, and they threatened to call the police on her. Now, City Apartments legal department did not return our phone calls, but if you'd like a complete list of all the apartments affected, you can log on to KTVU.com and go to the web links, and you can get more information there. Reporting live in San Francisco, Jade Hernandez, KTVU Channel 2 News. Jade, thank you.